Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for August 6th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Del Oro by Bill Murphy. This is an Argyle Sudoku, and we may have done one of these in the past. I honestly don't remember if we have. It's been a while, so this may be new to you. But it's pretty simple to explain variant, at least. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have these gray lines, and they kind of act like extra regions in the sense that we cannot have repeats. However, they are not 9 cells, so we don't have to have every digit, we just can't have duplicate digits. And those are the rules. And we are going to start looking at these digits that are on gray lines and how they interact with the other box that is mostly taken up by that line. So four in this box, in box four, already can't go in these cells. But because of this line, it also can't go in these cells. So that only leaves one place for it. Three is the same here. It can't go in these cells. It can't go in these cells on the line, so it must go here. Two in this box can't go in these cells. Can't go in these two cells because of this two, so it goes here. And one can't go in these cells, or these cells, or these cells because of this one, so one goes here. And now we have a third digit on each of these lines, which is useful. And what Bill has set up here is we have three digits on each line. The rest of the line is entirely in a box. And we have one more digit that is not on this line, and it's also not one of these digits. So we know what goes on this line now. Um, these are the other five digits. So two, three, wrong mode, two, three, five, six, and nine. And here we can clean up quite a bit. We have a 3, 9 pair, and it's resolved by this 3 here. So these are not 3 and 9. This is not 5 or 6 in the column, and we're left with a 5, 6 pair. Now, the other way we could have looked at that is, just like we did with the 4, where do 1 and 8 go in this box? They don't go on this line, and they're not here. So we have a 1, 8 pair here. So this is 8, and this is 1. So whichever way you want to see that. Uh, this was 9, 3, this was 2, and a 5, 6 pair. And we'll keep going around this way. We have 4, 7, 3, and 6, so these are the other digits. The 4 and 7 must go in these cells, and we have a 4 here. These are 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. And the 8 can't go in any of these cells, so it's going to go here. Uh, mark this. I'm having trouble visualizing. And I don't think this is a totally symmetric puzzle, so I may not clean up any more than that yet. All right, here we have 2, 3, 6, and a 5 in the box. So our 3, 6 needs to go here, and that's resolved from this 3. These are the remaining digits. Uh, these also can't be 4, 7, 8, and that can't be 1, so this is 9, 1. This is 4 from the 7 and 8, and then we have a 7 and 8 from that 8. And now that 6 is going to resolve 5 and 6. So it may just be that the uh, middle band is more restricted than the stack. So let's look here. We need 4 and 7 in this row. We need 2 and 5 here. It's not resolved, but that does give us a triple here. And then these are 1, 3, and 9. Um, and since we have the 2, 5, 9 triple here, this is going to have to be 3. And our remaining digit up here is 7. All right, let's go ahead and look at this line. We have 1, 2, 5, and 8. The 2 and 5 can only go in these cells. So this is 5, 2. We're left with a 6 needing to go here. 3 can't go in those, so it goes here, 4, and 9 from that 4. Then the 9 looks down for 1 and 9, the 5 looks down for 2 and 4. 5, can't type the right digits today. 
Um, that has to be one and five now. And that's the central cross done. And now we're just finishing up with Sudoku at this point. All the lines are done. So we need a six in this row. So it's got to go there. These are three and seven. And we know the order. We need an eight in this row. It has to go here. If I can type it. One five from that one. This column needs a seven. And four and eight. Result from that four. And we need a five in this column. This goes here, two, and six. Now this row still needs a two and a nine. We need a three and a five up here. We need an eight and a nine. Last digit here is a one. These are seven and nine, four, and finally six and nine. And that's the solution. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, the eight cell version of this is pretty gentle and Bill set it up really nicely so that we could get a third digit on these lines and then use this pattern. Um, this variant could be a lot harder. Um, I haven't, I don't think tried to, I don't think I've tried to set one of these. Um, certainly not a harder one. So maybe I'll do that sometime and it'll show up in the gas leak. But anyway, let us know how you did in the comments. Um, and I will see you next time.